So, we all probably knew, we all seen this coming. As we know, the government love control in this country. That is obsessed with control. Um, so, you know what? It's it's not fair that the gals have to go around and do everything and put in HSC inspectors. You know what they're going to do? The same as they do with everything. You know, to evict people and things like that. They get private security in. Isn't that right? Even with the vaccination centers, they have private security standing around. Um, and paying them thousands and thousands and thousands of euros to stand around and do nothing, private security firms. Um, and this is, yeah, long behold, here we go, the EU came out with this. Security firms may have a role to play in checking vaccine sorts in pubs and restaurants and nightclubs to enforce it. Isn't that great? Why, and what authority do the private security have to go around and say, you know, you'd have to write head to this premise because you haven't got your papers, please. You haven't got your papers. So you have no right there to this bit. And what right in the Constitution do they have to turn away a citizen? I, 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 let me just refrain actually saying that. What right does even the guard have to say to you, you're not allowed to act this, access this place unless you're been powered or whatever? Um, you know, again, how how can they sneak it past us? How can they, how, basically, again, what I'm trying to say is it's your gangster level. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it's not in it's like it couldn't be constitutional that they're actually going around and they actually will probably do it wait you see they spend billions upon billions they might spend five billion on getting private security to go around every pub in every town in Ireland to go around and to chase down people who don't have the papers um, sounds like it sounds like 1930s Germany but anyway um, I recorded a, a, a far right conspiracy theorist in a second now um, even if I raise anything against it because the media hate this um, people actually standing up for the, this. Actually, people standing up against this fucking banana republic shite. Um, like the banana republics didn't even do this. Um, but yeah, there should be private securities. T shirt tarnished stuff. We all know what Leo's T shirt. He's wearing the trousers. Um, but there should be private security. Um, but yes. So Leo's coming along, and again, I'm. I'm I don't know who he thinks he is. Um, but. You know, do we not have on Gareth Sheen Economy? Is that not what they're there for? Um, like again, in it's, you, they have they have some kind of authority. Um, not saying that they can say to people you're not allowed to enter this premises, even though you have every right under the sun to at any pub or restaurant if you want to. If you're going to pay for something, you have every right. Um, there's not that can really can do to stop you. That's that's in the end of the day they can't do anything. Um. So they're going to get private security tugs, as we've seen in West Carbon a few years ago. People people going and affecting, trying to affect people. So basically these are probably future funds and things like that. They're, they're little minions. They go around and tyr intimidating people. Tim intimidating people. So we all know they're probably going to do that again. So if you don't have your papers, you'll probably be ended up being intimidated. Um, Again, speed, like again, this is utter cut swallows. Um, so, uh, she, this is, and again, Dr. Tony Houlihan, uh, why is Neffert still here? Ask that question to yourself. Why is Neffert still here? The government said they would get rid of them, apparently they're here. So, you know, again, um, it's just, it's just, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's just not even funny at this stage. Um, like, the only thing you do is just laugh at this fucking shit show. Like, it's, like, forgive me for my language, but it's just an absolute shit show. Um... So Dr. Tony Houdin came back from some place the other day and he went through Dublin Airport and he was crying that nobody checked his COVID sort. Um, and he's very tick about that. Now he's going around saying everything must be done to get rid of these people who don't check COVID sorts. Like they're really gone fucking total 1930s Germany in finding out who you are, what, what religion you are, do you have your sort, do you have your papers? If you don't have your papers, you're going to be executed. Um, that's the way the media betraying it. Um, if you don't check for the papers, you're going to send in the Gestapo and we don't want that. Um, <laughs> like it's just, like it's just you. Know, it's just on another level. Um, his comments come after Dr. Tony Hoodhan said yesterday he was in favour of better enforcement of uh, of passes. So you know, obviously, it basically just told you there that they have it all planned out. They what they want the private security. They're going to get it. They probably have it already signed off and everything like that. So basically, again, um, the Gaudi may not necessarily be. The ones continuous spot checking, so we already see it there too, um because the girl again the girl you have some kind of authority compared to these fuckers that you pay uh, paying that the Irish state are paying us mercenaries I suppose, 
um, to come in and to enforce these Chukwonian Chuk laws on citizens. Um, and they have no authority and they could get them for probably outside the state to come in. Good God, I wouldn't put it past them. Um, they'll probably bring back... I wouldn't be surprised to go over to Germany and get a few people. Um, because you couldn't trust them. Covid inspectors and things like yada 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 yada. Just utter, utter propaganda 2.0. You took the Irish Independent. Would have wet them and said, hang on a second, Leo. Hang on a second, me hole. As Michael McAmara TD has said, it's the auxiliaries. And they're going to bring back the auxiliaries. They're bringing back the black and tans. Charlie's dreams coming alive, boys. They're bringing back the black and tans. I wouldn't be surprised to actually go over and get a few people dressed in black and tan uniforms and go out in the streets. Um, like, I wouldn't put it past them. Like, the, like literally, the, the gun passed. You know, the gun passed any Irish government. The gun passed the the border line. And actually, they are over treason. We <laughs> don't answer over treason at this stage. This government, um, want to bring back the black and tans. Like imagine saying that years ago in this country that they wanted to bring back the black and tans, and they wanted to commemorate them. And then they're coming along with this utter shit, <laughs> like. Where, what, what, where are we, 1930s Germany, please explain, it's my fear on the throne here. Um, when the fear of us says we are the master race, he I, he I. And they were taking the song um, from the, you know, from back in the day. Um, but yeah, um, what is this? <laughs> please explain, somebody. But we all know to have it all planned out and we all know that probably more to come. They'll probably bring in the army now. I, what? I hit the nail on the head there. Um, they'll probably be like, no, the private security is not enough. We're going to bring in the United Nations. It's that great. We're going to have the mayor with tanks and guns and armored cars and everything. And anybody showing no COVID passes, like I wouldn't put it past them. Better not give them actually. Better not give them ideas. But they say they're on the same line as me at the moment. Um, but yeah, we <laughs> know what to take. <laughs>